Here's a segment we know you'll be very interested in, the benchmark test between the new iPad 4 and its predecessor, the iPad 3. Now if you bought an iPad 3 early this year and are wondering what are the differences between the two, look no further. Now aside from the upgraded front camera and lightning connector, the big change is the new A6X chip, a dual-core processor with quad-core graphics. So we ran a bunch of industry standard benchmarking tests to see what the differences are. All right, so let's kick off with web browsing, one of the activities we'd expect most users of both tablets to engage in. Now the browser mark test measures browser performance in HTML rendering, as well as JavaScript handling. A higher score is better in this test. So what were the results? Well, the new iPad 4 scored an impressive 203,000 and the iPad 3 came in at 124,000. Now SunSpider measures how quickly a particular device can handle JavaScript in a web browser environment. Now this string of micro tests results in a time score, and in this case, lower is better. The iPad 4 posted a time of 855 milliseconds. Now this is the best result we've ever seen on a mobile device. The iPad 3 came in with a time of 1449 milliseconds. Next, we loaded Geekbench onto both devices. Now this is more of a computational power test of each device. In this test, a higher score is better. The iPad 4 came in with a score of 1774 and the iPad 3 scored 757. Finally, we ran the GL benchmark for graphics using the on-screen Egypt HD test and looked at frame rate performance. Once again, a higher frame rate is better. Now in this test, the iPad 4 produced a phenomenal 40 frames a second, while the iPad 3 came in at 22 frames a second. Lastly, we used the new rendering test, which we ran on-screen. This produces a time score for the rendering process, and in this case, a lower score is better. The iPad 4 produced a score of 31,000 milliseconds at 36 frames a second. Then our iPad 3 device produced 61,000 milliseconds at 18 frames a second. So there you have it. The iPad 4 clearly has significant performance upgrades. So what do you think? Would this be enough to upgrade you from the iPad 3? Now, if you want to see our in-depth first look video on the iPad 4, click over here. If you want to see our in-depth series of iPad mini videos, click over here. As always, we'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments area below. Please share this video with your family and friends. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Until next time. Well, that was quick. This blisters. Still pretty good though. Then again, there's the iPad mini now. So new iPad, new, new iPad.